Hey everybody, uh, it's uh, three twenty. As you guys know, I can't sleep at night. But I wanted to put out this video before I went to bed, and I want to get you guys un honest opinions. Um, and I'm just gonna look. I do entertainment news. I do gossip and entertainment news. So I might as well just put it out there. As you guys see, I'm already packed and ready to go, and everything. I got stuff packed and ready to go. Um, I've been wanting to share this with you guys. I just want everybody's. Uh, Honest opinion, and and I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna uh, allege. I'm not gonna say. Not, all this is true. It's nothing, nothing fake about the story, and it's all about me and a friendship of a person that I had friendships with for over thirty years. Now, um, and I know they're gonna see this video because the person that I no longer speak to is gonna probably send him this video. But here we go. Um, I had this friend of mine that I knew, and this person, uh, when I met this person, this person uh, was always saying they didn't want to live, they want to kill themselves, and I was always encouraging them, saying, no, you're going to be okay, you're going to make it. Then they had some other um, things going on in their life. I won't go into that uh, physically. I'll let you figure out, fill, it, fill in the to fill in the blanks on that one. And they were depressed about that. They always said they want to kill themselves. They've been saying it for the last four years since I met them. And every time I talk to them, I just try to encourage them. Well, one night, well, here, goes the first, here goes the first time that this happened, that they went behind my back. This is not my best friend for over 30 years, and it's not Chase either. This was uh, the person who wanted to kill themselves, who always said they wanted to kill themselves. So they they went, the first thing they did, I had a friend that came up from Dallas. He stayed at my house. We've been knowing each other for a long time too as well, just as long, actually probably longer than Chase. So we're very close. And he's not a messy person and he, I, I trust him. I mean, I, I trust him and I, I just, I just, I don't have no doubt that he would say anything behind my back or Whatever. So this person who said they wanted to kill themselves uh, told him some things about me. And so, of course, my friend from Dallas called me and told me. And he told him, he said, why are you telling me things, these things about PT? I mean, I know PT. I know PT better than you. And so that was I was mad about that. So I didn't speak to him for a long time. But, I, but, but me knowing me, the nice person that I am, him dealing with, you know, wanting to kill himself and not wanting to live, I decided to go ahead and give him another chance. All right, so we move on. You know, we go out, we hang out, we go out to eat. You know, I'm just trying to be there for him. So one night, uh, so we move forward. It could have been a year later. I don't remember because I try to forget that, you know, just look, that was the past. Because, you know, friends do fall out, but friends don't talk behind each other's back. Now, I've only known this person for four years, okay? So I don't have a 25, 30-year 30, 30 relationship with this person like I do uh, my friend who, who came and stayed at my house. All right, we're going to move forward. So one night, Chase and I were out, and this person called Chase and, and said, hey, he said, hey, don't tell PT I'm calling you, but I want to talk to you, okay? I got upset. I got upset because this person knew me before they knew Chase. Of course, Chase is my friend, and you know Chase going to tell me because I would do the same for him. He wasn't talking about me. He just said, I want to talk to you, but I don't want PT to know because PT going to jump on me and tell me I need to pull myself together and stop saying that you're going to kill yourself. Yeah, I, I talk to him like that. I talk to him in love and tell him, listen, it's been four years and you've been saying that you're going to kill yourself for the last four years. And I want you to pull yourself together. You're a great person. You, you got a job. You work. You live by yourself. You know, I know the relationships are hard because you got some other stuff going on, but you've come this far. And because I give you tough love, you're not going to go behind my back and tell my friend that I've been on Chase for over long, way longer than you. Not to tell me that you called and want to talk to me. So I, I was done. I said, you know what? I'm done. 
I have nothing else to say to this person. So then, a couple of months later, I look up. He, I'm trying not to cuss. This person is in Dallas with my best friend. So I call my best friend, and I was pissed off. Didn't know he was sitting there. Now, mind you, he only met my best friend once. Once. So I, I get on the phone. I said, you need to call me when that could leave because he's a two-facing, but da -da 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 -da, and I need to tell you what he did. Boom, hung up the phone. I ain't hearing from my best friend for over 30 years yet. And my question is to you, and I know y'all might say, well, that, he was never a friend. That's not true. Yes, he is a friend. But if you are a true friend of somebody, if somebody, if my, if Chase called me hollering and screaming on the phone, or anybody that I've been friends with for over 25, 30 years, and they tell me to call them, I'm going to fucking call them. Because I want to know why is my friend that I've been knowing for over, over 30 years screaming and hollering over the phone, talking about this person from Dallas that I only met once. I will call them right away. Okay, I'm going to call you as soon as this person leave. This person that you hadn't even known, you ain't even known three months. I think it's, I think it's just, I just don't understand. You know, I don't know if it's because of the, the sex, because I'm not, in, I, I, you know, that person and I was never in a relationship. We're just friends. We wanted to date, but that, that, that never happened. And I just wanted to, you know, I wasn't going to say anything about this, but it just, it doesn't. It, it, it hurts my heart to know that you've been knowing somebody for over 30 years and then you would let a person come and then then the person in Dallas knew what they were doing. You, They knew what they were doing. They went all the way to Dallas to hang out with this person just to piss me off. It didn't piss me off. It saddened me to think that you, the person who always talked about, oh, I'm going to kill myself and I don't want to live. You wonder why you're having the problems that you have it. Because of the things that you're doing. And I don't need to call my best friend and tell him, call me twice, three or four or five times. I don't need to do that. I called you once and I was mad. And I said, you need to call me so I can tell you what's going on. If that person never calls me, that's 30 years down the drain. And I can move on with my life because I know, I know that I've been good to that person who went behind my back twice. And now all of a sudden you good and good and good friends with somebody that you ain't even met but one time. I need you guys to leave a comment below. And if you're watching, you know who I'm talking to. You know you're wrong. And you're never going to have peace with yourself for what you did. And to my best friend, I know you're watching. I'm still waiting on your phone call. You guys have a good night. Please leave a comment below.